Hello and welcome to this video tutorial by ComputerGarGar.com. In this video, we're going to look at how to use Excel VBA to loop through the subfolders of our directory or other folder. So I've got the code on screen, which I'm going to walk us through a little bit in a moment. I should mention now that there is a link in the, the description of this video below that will take you to this code. So you can copy it, paste it, tweak it, and so on. What this code heavily uses to get this job done is something known as FSO, File System Object. And when you're trying to access and run operations on kind of files and folders of a directory, using FSO makes your job so much easier. And that's what this macro or this little bit of code uh, makes full use of. So before I go through the code, just to kind of clarify what this macro does, um, I'm currently in a Excel workbook known, give myself a bit of a mess here, as loop underscore subfolders. That is the name of this current file. And as you can see, it's a blank file. But if I maybe just pop into file and open, there is another file sitting inside the second folder of a folder called Excel files on my desktop known as orders. And that looks like this. It has some orders from cell A1 to F10. Something nice and simple for this example. Pop it into my directory. This is my desktop. Loads of rubbish on there. Here is my Excel files folder. And in there, I have three subfolders plus an extra file. The folder I'm looking for is in the second folder. Here it is. It's called orders. That's what I'm looking for. You notice there are other subfolders, though, with different files. So this macro will loop through each of those subfolders. Looking for the file called orders, it will then open it. And it's going to copy and paste those orders a1 to F10 into this blank file. And that's what it does. Let's skip back to the code and let's start talking through it. So initially there's some vol uh, sorry, variable declaration going on, especially these four object variables, uh, one for FSO, one for the folder, like Excel files, one for all the subfolders, and one for all the files within the subfolders. These will object variables. There's also one to store the name of the file I'm looking for and one to assist with referencing workbooks. And the real business starts here. When you're using this file system object, the first thing you need to do is create an instance of that object. And that's what this does here. It uses my FSO variable. You can call it whatever you want. It doesn't have to be FSO. And that creates that file system object. I then create the folder variable. Now I'm using, you can see I'm making the most of file system object there. I'm using something called get folder. Um, when using file system object, you can manipulate their object model where they have folder and file uh, objects within them. Uh, you know, perfect names to give those objects, which makes it easier for us to reference. I'm creating a, a variable called folder. Once again, I can call that whatever I want. I can call it subfolders, whatever I want. It doesn't have to be that. But I'm making the most of the methods and the objects that FSO contains. So I can get the folder. There's the path, Excel files folder within my desktop. And then establish to look for the subfolders of that folder. Looking for a file called orders, there is assigned to my string variable. And then we have the big loop. For each subfolder within like the collection of subfolders so there's the set in subfolders be all the subfolders in folder for each one of them each of the subfolders remember i have three known by first second and third establish the current file object being the files within those subfolders and then loop through those for each file look for that name if you find it open it up Copy the range into this folder, cell A1, 
and then close it down. So essentially this area around here is what you're probably going to look at changing. You can get that to do whatever it is that you want to do. If you're trying to print these subfolders, you know, put their names into a worksheet and list them. If you need to delete stuff, all kinds of operations you can do working with a directory. What ours does here, this example, looks for a particular one, opens it up, copies and pastes some data into the current workbook, and then closes it down, saving the changes as we go. And that's just an example. So you adapt this for what you want. Uh, just to remind you, this code is available via a link in the description of this video. So you can take this code and experiment with it and use it for what you need. Everything else around it, the loops, should be good to go for you. Last thing remaining for me is to show it in action. See so if I switch back to the blank sheet of loop subfolders. And maybe I'll pop into the macros dialog. And there is the macro I was just talking us through. And I run that macro. I can see, well, we can't see it going through the subfolders, but I can see it bring back that range A1 to F10 that was from that order spreadsheet. So it's looped for each of those three subfolders, looking for the file I told it to, finds it, opens it, copies the data, saves and closes it. I hope you find this video useful. Uh, please check out some of the other tutorials at computergargar.com.